Welcome to this video. This is about STEM math made easy. And I discuss all of this in my book, Teaching Math, which you can get a free copy of, a high school math curriculum that works for all students. And in particular on this video, I want to talk to you about STEM math, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and how this can be made easy with a modern tool. I'm Craig Hain. Uh, my students call me Dr. Dell, and I've created the uh, six-tier training program available at Triad Math, Inc., and you can learn all about me at my own website, uh, www.craighain.com. Okay, I'm going to assume that you are interested in studying a STEM subject like physics or chemistry or some technical subject or engineering, and uh, you're going to need to know certain mathematics to do that. Calculus is certainly the basis of it, and this is a typical calculus book. Now, you've already had calculus, or perhaps you're getting ready to take it, but uh, so this will either be a review or a preview. Uh, in calculus, you study functions, and you study all about their behavior. That's what STEM is based on, is functions. And the first thing you talk about is rate of change, which is called differentiation or derivatives. And you study the applications of derivatives or differentiation to understanding the behavior of functions. And then the second part of calculus is called integral calculus. That's about integration, and that is about continuous summation. It involves the fundamental theorem of calculus. And then you begin to study uh, all sorts of interesting things about that. And finally, you may, depending on the course you're taking, learn a little bit about differential equations. Differential equations are certainly very important in STEM subjects. And then you're going to learn about applications of uh, integration, and most importantly, you're going to learn about integration techniques. And finally, you're going to study infinite series and a few other applications of calculus. Now, so far as I'm concerned, if you're going to study classical calculus, the very best calculus book I've ever seen is by Dr. George Simmons. And it is a wonderful book. And if you want to know about the historical development of calculus and so on, this is the book to study. But the facts are, all calculus books today, including this one, could have been written 100 years ago. Or for that matter, most of what's in this book could have been written 200 years ago, back in the early 1800s, because the techniques that are taught in the calculus books today are all manual techniques that were developed by our ancestors back in the 1700s, starting in the 1600s, and then in the 1800s. And that is uh, what is taught today, uh, even today now, in calculus, and it's quite challenging to master these manual techniques. Now, an extension of calculus is the concept of differential equations, and these are really the workhorses of modern STEM subjects in science and engineering. And the very best differential equations book, again, is by Dr. George Simmons. This is a fantastic book, and if you want to study differential equations uh, the way it's been classically taught, this is the book you want to get. Okay, now what does all this have to do with STEM math made easy? As I've told you, the techniques that you learn, the manual techniques in both calculus and differential equations are very, very challenging and difficult to master. And the whole point now of this video is to tell you about a modern tool that takes all of the drudgery out of it. It makes it much, much easier. This tool is called Wolfram Alpha. If you go to wolframalpha.com, you'll see this come up. And this is the modern tool that makes this all so easy. In fact... Uh, I consider this like a $100 million tool. Now, it's free for you to use on the Internet, but it's based on something called Mathematica, which is an extremely powerful uh, programming language. It was introduced back in 1988 by Stephen Wolfram. And Wolfram Alpha runs on a very large group of computers. When you type in a command, and it goes over the Internet. Your problem gets solved by what I consider a supercomputer with this fantastic Mathematica. In fact, Wolfram Alpha seems almost magical to me. Uh, I really don't uh, know how it works. Uh, I'm endlessly amazed by its power. But the facts are, it's made all of the classical calculus and differential equations textbooks really obsolete because no professional today is going to use the old manual algorithms developed hundreds of years ago to solve these problems. It's just like no one's going to use log and trig tables and slide rules ever since the scientific calculator came along. So I believe as a STEM student, you must master the use of this tool to solve calculus and differential equation problems. And that's what this video is going to discuss with you. Okay, now if you go to our website, uh, STEM Math Made Easy, you'll see on that website uh, a dozen examples. I call them an easy dozen. 
It's easy with Wolfram Alpha, very difficult to do manually, and I'm going to go over those with you very briefly now on this video. Uh, for example, let's start off with a polynomial. I took a fifth degree polynomial here, and let's say we want to know the roots of this polynomial. Now, this could be considered a pre-calculus problem, except you, there is no algebraic technique to do it, so you really have to use calculus to do it. Uh, this is the graph of that polynomial function, and the question is, what are its real and complex roots? Now, this would be a very difficult problem to do with calculus or any other manual techniques, but with Wolfram Alpha, you immediately get the answer. There are three real roots, and there they are, and there are two complex roots, and it tells you, and it takes you less than a minute to find that out, and quite frankly, I don't know of any manual way to do that. Now, what I'm showing you is going to apply to any function. I'm just using this polynomial as an example. Another thing you want to know are the maximum and the minimum. You want to know where it's increasing and decreasing. You also want to know the inflection points and where it's concave up and down. And those are all things now that you use differential calculus to solve. So the first thing we're going to ask is what are the relative minimum and maximum points on this? And where's it increasing and decreasing? Now, this is a tough problem. You'd have to take the derivative of it, which is a fourth degree polynomial, find its roots, and then those would be the candidates for the maximum and minimum. But if you just go to Wolfram Alpha and ask it the right thing, immediately it will tell you that you have a maximum at this point here, you have a minimum at this point, it graphs it for you, and you can see then, of course, where it's increasing and decreasing just by going from one point here to another. So you get this in less than a minute, you get this answer. Now, this would be a very difficult problem to do using classical calculus. Now, what about inflection points and concavity? Well, once again, now in, with differential calculus, you'd have to take the second derivative, find its zeros, then apply the tests to find out uh, what it, whether it's concave up or down. And it turns out these are the three inflection points. Here they are. It even graphs them for you. Boom, boom, boom. Three inflection points. And you can see now the intervals of where it's concave down, concave up, concave down, concave up. And again, Wolfram Alpha does this for you in less than a minute. Now, quite frankly, it'll work for any function. So I just can't even imagine uh, how you would do this manually in any reasonable length of time if you could do it at all. And Wolfram Alpha answers all three of these questions in less than one or two minutes each. Now, in studying STEM subjects, uh, physics and chemistry and so on, you come up with all kinds of functions. Here's a, f a pretty simple function, x squared plus 0.5 times the sine of 10x. Well, you want to graph the function, let's say from 1 to 3, and then you want to find its arc length, and you want to find the area that's underneath this function. So now you're talking about an integral calculus problem. Well, Wolfram Alpha will graph it for you. There's the graph of it. And by the way, you can apply the techniques we just learned to find the maximum and the minimum and the points of inflection and all of that using differential calculus. But what about the arc length? Well, there's a formula for it. You take the derivative of the function, square it, plus 1, take the square root, and integrate it. Now, that's a, it's easy to come up with this integrand for the arc length once you understand arc length conceptually. But evaluating the integral is very difficult, and Wolfram Alpha does it for us immediately. What about the area under the graph from 1 to 3? Well, again, you're just uh, taking the integral, the definite integral from 1 to 3. But this is, uh, in this particular example, this would be relatively easy to do manually. But, of course, Wolfram Alpha does it for you instantly. This one up here would have been very challenging to do manually. In fact, probably impossible manually. You'd have to use numerical techniques. And so Wolfram Alpha does the integral calculus problems for you. Uh, very, very quickly. And these are the problems, by the way, that are very challenging for students when you're learning calculus using the old manual techniques. Well, here's another application of calculus. You want to take this same function we had, and you want to rotate it about the x-axis. And you want to know its surface area, and you want to know its volume of this solid revolution. Well, Wolfram Alpha will give you both of those immediately. Uh, it'll tell you what the uh, volume is, and it'll tell you what the surface area is. And so, uh, in less than a minute or two, you can do that. Uh, manually, this would be a very time-consuming, if not impossible, problem to do using the old manual techniques. So this is obviously what a STEM professional is going to do. Now, the facts are the manual techniques of integration are very limited in what they can actually do. Uh, here's a function, g of x equals sine of x squared. This comes up in engineering applications. And in order to uh, use integrals on it, you've got to find an antiderivative. 
So it's an integral calculus problem. But you won't find this in a calculus book. And the reason is there is no antiderivative in terms of ordinary functions. In fact, Wolfram Alpha will tell you that the antiderivative is this function, and this is called a special function. This happens to be what is called a Fresnel integral. This happens all the time in STEM. And if you want to know the area under the curve, you have to evaluate that. Of course, Wolfram Alpha does it for you automatically, and there's the area under this, and it'll do any kind of a calculus problem now automatically for you. And these are problems that would either take you a long time to do, if you could even do them manually, or problems that you probably can't do manually. Now, Wolfram Alpha solves almost any kind of a STEM problem you're going to run into. For example, suppose you had three linear equations, X, Y, and Z. These represent planes, and you want to know their point of intersection, if they have one. It's a linear algebra problem. Now, you can do this with Gaussian elimination, which is a long, laborious technique, or you can use matrix uh, theory to do it, matrix equations. But Wolfram Alpha will immediately tell you that the answer is this right here. So you can take Wolfram Alpha and do all sorts of linear algebra problems uh, quickly and easily. Okay, now in STEM, a lot of times you have a complicated function, and you would like to approximate it with a polynomial. Uh, there are reasons to do this uh, in STEM subjects. And so the question is, well, find a polynomial of degree 8 in this example that's a good approximation of this when x is 0. Now, this is an advanced differential calculus problem using what are called series. And it, it's not terribly difficult to do, but it's very time-consuming. It's error-prone. It takes a long time to do. Wolfram Alpha immediately gives you this 8-degree polynomial. And it plots it. Here's the 8-degree polynomial approximation with the original function. And you can see from minus 0.5 to 0.5 is a very good approximation. And you can do this with Wolfram Alpha in less than a minute. It would probably take you two or three hours to do it manually. Now, you may not have studied differential equations yet, but you're going to have to learn all about them if you're going to study STEM because they are really the way you make models up in STEM, in science and engineering. So here's a simple differential equation. The second derivative of y plus the first derivative of y plus y equals cosine of x. y is considered to be a function of x. And what is a function of x that would satisfy this differential equation with these two initial conditions? Now, it's not terribly hard to do manually, but it's very time-consuming. And Wolfram Alpha just simply gives you the answer immediately. Here's the answer. Y of X equals, and you can see what the answer is there. I won't read it off to you, but this would be the answer. And Wolfram Alpha will do this for any differential equation that does actually have a solution involving uh, ordinary functions. Uh, here's another example. Uh, this is actually just a first-degree differential equation. Y prime plus Y uh, plus E to the T power equals zero. Uh, initial condition y of 1 is 2. This is a differential equation of order 1. And here's the answer. Wolfram Alpha does this for you instantly uh, in less than a minute. Now, you're going to run into all sorts of differential equations in your STEM subjects. And if you've got to solve them manually with manual techniques, you're going to have to spend a lot of time learning those manual techniques. There's all sorts of manual techniques. They only work for special equations. They don't work most of the time. And, and Wolfram Alpha will always give you the answer, even if it has to just do it numerically. It's an absolutely, unbelievably incredible tool for uh, using in STEM. Well, here's another example. Sometimes you define a function you're interested in implicitly. Here's an example. Y is a function of X, but it's defined implicitly by X squared plus Y cubed minus XY quantity squared equals zero. Now, there, there are functions that this defines. As a matter of fact, if you graph this thing, you'll see that there are several functions implicitly defined by this. Now, a question you often have is, what is the asymptotic behavior of these functions? What happens as x gets very large, goes to infinity or to minus infinity? And you want to graph these functions, you want to know what their asymptotes are. Well, if you just ask Wolfram Alpha properly, it'll tell you that their asymptotes are what they are, and it'll graph them for you. For example, one of these functions approaches the parabola y equals x squared as x goes to infinity. Another one of them approaches y equals plus 1. Another one yet approaches y equals minus 1. This, this implicit uh, definition actually defines several functions implicitly. And, of course, there's a symmetry here you can observe. Now, this is a very, very difficult problem to do. In fact, I don't know, how to, frankly, how to do it manually. It would be just almost impossible to do this problem manually. And yet Wolfram Alpha does it for you instantly. Uh, and just uh, so it just makes life so much easier when you're studying a well, one last stuff. example here. Suppose you have a curve that's defined parametrically, sine t, cosine of 3t. And you want to know uh, what is the length of this curve from, uh, as t goes from 0 to pi. And you want to graph it. 
Well, Wolfram Alpha not only will graph the curve parametrically, it will calculate the arc length of it, and there it is. Now, setting up this integrand is not very difficult to do if you understand the uh, calculus at that point, but evaluating it is very difficult. And again, Wolfram Alpha just does this for you automatically. So Wolfram Alpha is just this unbelievably powerful tool for solving STEM problems. Okay, so what should you do? Well, I recommend you go to stemmathmadeeasy.com. That's our website, and you can download all 12 of these problems and the answers in a PDF format so that you can play with them yourself and you can see if you can make, if you can figure out how to use Wolfram Alpha to solve them. Maybe go to your calculus teacher or go to other students you know and see if you can figure out how to use Wolfram Alpha to solve them because as a STEM major or a STEM student, that's what you're going to need to do. Uh, believe me, this is going to give you a tremendous advantage over people that don't know how to do it. And indeed, you'll be at a huge disadvantage if you're competing with people that do know how to do it. And some people, believe me, are going to know how to do it. Now, you may say, well, I can't find anyone to help me and I can't figure it out myself. Although I do think if you spend enough time, you'll figure it out for yourself. Well, I've actually created, as you'll find out on the STEM Math Made website, a 15 lesson training program complete with a lot of exercises. In fact, they come in a PDF, the notes and the exercises come in a PDF format along with the 15 video lessons. And uh, you can learn all about how to do everything I've talked, I've showed you here in this, and in fact, more than what I've just showed you here by way of examples. And so I recommend that you go to that website and look at that. And uh, if you want my help, then you can uh, enroll in or purchase that uh, program. Uh, I believe you'll find it's extremely cost effective, 15 lessons. Depends on your background. It should take you maybe 15 hours to go through them. If, you, if you're already strong in calculus and differential equations, you'll do it in three or four or five hours. If you're weak in it, you've never studied it before, it might take you 20 hours. And uh, you, there'll also be a forum you can participate in with other students, and I'll even get involved if need be. So I adverge, advise you to go to this website and uh, download the PDF, study these problems yourself, see if you can figure out how to solve them with Wolfram Alpha, and if you want my help, then, of course, you can buy my, my program. In any event, this is Dr. Dell. I've told you something here that if you master this tool, it should be worth tens of thousands of dollars to you as you study STEM. Because it's going to make chemistry and physics and engineering so much easier. And it might even help you some in the required math courses you take where they teach you the old-fashioned stuff. Uh, that, that depends on the school you go to and uh, your ability to negotiate with them um, and whether you have to learn the old obsolete techniques or not. In any event, this is Dr. Dell. I wish you the very best in your future. Uh, with this new tool, learning STEM now becomes very quick and easy. It really becomes almost a snap because math is usually the impediment for most people when they're studying any STEM subject. And with this tool, uh, mathematics is no longer any kind of a barrier or an impediment. So good luck to you. I wish you uh, the best in your future.